Thank you for joining me. I hope you're well. And thank you so much for all the love and support uh, around the shop. You guys are just so sweet. I've been reading through all the comments and messages and it just makes me so happy that I'm just receiving all the support that I have gotten and just thank you so much for that. So for this video, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of the prep <laughs> Uh, that I'm going to be doing each week and uh, just kind of give you a closer look I guess at some things. I have a few packages here I'm going to open really quick and I also got a couple new things for the extra room in there. So my plant shelf came, I was waiting on that. So it's the same black wire shelf that's in there already. I have two, so I have a third one. And then I got a little like tabletop desk and I got this backdrop that should fit on the desk okay. And then that's gonna be my, my photo plant taking station. And I kinda ideally have a spot for it in that room because right now I'm just using a kind of a cloth backdrop against the closet and it's just it's just a really not good spot and I don't really have like a good setup for taking photos so I think this is going to make photo taking a lot easier and better and hopefully like the quality and speaking of taking photos I have a package here that a uh, follower slash subscriber uh I reached out to her to see if she could make me something for taking photos. She has an Etsy shop. She has a small business. I'm so glad I reached out to her because she said, of course, she just loves creating and designing and she would be happy to do that for me. Kim, I know you watch my videos. Thank you so much. I'm so eager to get in here. So her Etsy shop is called, um, I think it's D-Line, D-Line. I don't know how to say that, D-Line. It's Trading Company. This is her little logo here this came super quick i love uh i love her stickers happy mail has arrived that's really cute i like that uh and i like this too i might have to copy this it says hi mail carrier thank you for all your hard work you're an important part of my business and i appreciate all that you do that is so sweet that's such a good idea to think like the mail person I was wondering why this is coming in such a big package, Kim. What did you send me? Because I know my sign is not this big. <laughs> did you put something else in this package? I'm anxious. <laughs> Aw, this is so cute. I love everyone's like tissue paper. That's adorable. I love that. That is so cute. That's so cute. I love looking at the cards and everything that comes in here. That is adorable. Okay, let's dig in because I'm really curious to see the sign. Oh, I'm ripping the tissue paper. She sent me some extras. Kim, why did you have to go and do that? That's so cute. Are these magnets? I think they're planty magnets. Look how cute they are. I'm gonna put those on the fridge. That is adorable. And a Monstera, what is this? I don't know, but it's a Monstera and that is beautiful. That is so cute. And what is this? That's amazing that she designed this stuff. Look how beautiful that is. It looks like a little wooden wallet or something. That is so cool, plant fund. I just saw that. <laughs> plant fund, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to put money into a plant fund. <laughs> 
Oh, what is this? Kim, you seriously did not have to send me all of this. Those are so cute. It's a Monstera coaster set. That's adorable. I feel bad, Kim. I would have gladly paid for this extra stuff. Some little uh, dragonfly clips. I love these little clips. <sighs> okay. Wait, there's something else. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Some trellises that has like a little dangly charm on it. That's so cute. I love that. Kim, I seriously was not expecting any of this. Are you still sending more stuff? <laughs> I think this is my plaque that I'm most excited for. I'm excited for all this stuff. You are so sweet. You did not have to send me the extras. Okay. I cannot wait to use the plaque. It smells like fresh wood, <laughs> which I like that smell. Oh, it's so cute. That is beautiful. It's crazy that she made this. It's so like, it's so perfect. Look at that. That is so talented. It has my logo here in the middle and then plantsbymelissa.com. And she put some monsteras on here. And then like, I mainly use YouTube and Instagram. So you guys are gonna see this in my photos, like in the background, so that I don't have to actually add a watermark. That is so cute, I love it. It's like the perfect size. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And then she told me she added in this here as like a flat lay. So if I'm taking overhead photos and you can't see this, I can sit this like down and it has my logo. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm impressed. That is amazing. I don't know how she does all this, but that is beautiful. That is awesome. Kim, you did such a good job. That is so beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to take photos with these tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim. You are so sweet. I was not expecting the extras. Let me open this uh, wallet. <laughs> this is adorable. Does it actually open as a wallet? Oh, no, it doesn't. You could actually slide a little something something in there. I love how that opens. That's so cool. That is adorable. That is so cute. I love that so much. I don't know what this Monstera is. Maybe it's just a little plaque. Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, that's so cool. A Monstera sticker. Everything here is beautiful. So the coasters, the trellis, this wallet is adorable. Magnets and the clips and the signs. That's so special, Kim. Thank you, honestly, so much. I was not expecting that. Ugh, everything was so beautiful. You are just awesome. <laughs> I cannot believe you did that. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to use everything. Everything is so cute. You are so talented. Very, very talented. Do my thumbnail. 
Okay, next two items is just some restocks for the shop. So I went with um, Sticker Mule this time for my labels, but I ordered them, I think, a little bit smaller because the first set that I did, I did like from a random place on Amazon. I feel like the quality was okay, and but the stickers were kind of big. They're a little bit more big than what I wanted. So I tried these guys here to see. I did a sample uh, a couple weeks ago and the sample they sent was too small. So I got the next size up. And I ordered kind of more of bulk. Ooh, those turned out really good. I like these, these are perfect size. I think I may have ordered like 200, so I have a pile of 50. I'll definitely have to order more in bulk. So that's the new label, or it's like a sticker. The other ones that I did from Amazon had a lot of extra white space. These are the old stickers of random Amazon shop and these are the new ones. I felt like the logo quality is better on this one. So yeah, I think I have maybe, um, maybe 25 or so of these ones left and then I'll be using those ones. So very happy with that. I'll definitely be reordering from them. And then I may just do some other little stickers. I might design some other stickers that I will print and send out. Cause right now I am including like plant stickers and uh, plant and cat stickers in there too, which I'm still gonna do. Cause I love, uh, cats and plants, so <laughs> I like I like including the little stickers. I guess that's a sample. What the heck did they send me? Oh, I think there's like a free, a free sauce or something. Mule sauce, what is this? I think this was free with a certain dollar amount. That's so funny, hot sauce. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I forget how much I paid for 200 stickers. I think it was over $100, so. Uh, but this should last me a while, 50. This should last me, I feel like, a few weeks. I'm definitely gonna have to order more in bulk, but that was kind of expensive. I didn't wanna order like too much at once in case I didn't like the way they, they turned out, but I really like those. And then this here is from Canva. I pay for Canva Pro. It's like $15 a month, uh, but I do a lot of my YouTube uh, thumbnails. I do everything on, logo, or on Canva. And so I designed my little cards. I just used like a template and kind of added my own little thing to it for each a package. So like Kim has her own like little card here, which is so cute. I love the way that hers is set up. I love the little additional card too with like the scanning thing. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that and do that with mine. So I think I did order a lot of these cause I feel like I'm gonna go through these quite a bit. Um, I don't know how many I ordered. So this is my little thank you with purchase here. I kind of, I kind of didn't take like a whole lot of time on this, but I do feel like the back side is blank, so I kind of wanted to add something to the back, maybe. But this was like kind of what I did until I can get time to figure out if I want to change things, and I'm sure I will as time. Time goes on. So yes, I have a bulk order of these. And again, I'm gonna have to order, I feel like I'm gonna have to order these like every every month. Cause one in every order, I, yeah, I'm gonna go through these very quickly. But, oh, let's try that plane. I also invested in something for YouTube. I've been wanting to invest in something that uh, gives higher, well, like better quality in the sense that the footage won't be so shaky. And not that it's not like super shaky, it's just when a human is holding a camera, it's, 
The camera itself, like the one that I use, has like active stabilization, which helps with like the shakiness and stuff of the camera when you're holding it. But sometimes it still gets a little shaky. Uh, so I invested in something, this was expensive, but I feel like I really wanted to test this out because I'm gonna be filming a plant tour, uh, probably starting maybe later this week into next week. I actually might break it up and film it in sections so that I'm not filming the tour all in one day. I think I, I might start it this week and end it next week because I want to film the tour before I start propagating a bunch of plants for the shop. So I am going to work on that, I think, later this week because uh, even if I'm not ready for the day, if I'm just editing, I can still like film a little bit without physically seeing me in the video. I can just talk about the plant. So I feel like I might work on that later. But yeah, this is just like a handheld. It's, it's more than like, a, I have a handheld thing with the camera, but it doesn't help with shakiness. It's what I use when I'm filming like shopping videos. But this, the camera actually like can sit on here and you can actually hold this, but the camera holds still if that makes sense. So it helps, it really helps uh, with stabilization and I feel, and it can do like a 360 turn and everything like that. I feel like this is gonna give my videos really high quality. So I actually, I wanna figure out how to uh, set this up with my camera so that I can use this for my plant tour. So you guys are getting a little sneak peek, but yeah, I hope I can figure it out. Uh, there were so many options I didn't know what to go with, but based on my research that I was doing, this was a good option for the camera that I specifically have. So I'm gonna figure out how to use that so I can use that soon. I'm gonna use it for shopping videos too so that the quality and video is like more smooth. <laughs> uh, I don't like watching shaky videos either. Uh, I feel like if it's super shaky, I can't watch it. So I really, uh, I've been on YouTube two and a half years, I think not quite two and a half years, almost. So I feel like it's definitely time that I invest in something like that. Cause when I'm doing regular videos, like you guys are currently sitting on a tripod. So I'm not uh, moving in the sense I'm not moving the camera, but when I'm holding the camera, like if I'm doing plant updates or taking the camera and showing you something, I really want to use this so that the footage is better quality. So I'm excited for that. Luna came to join me on my tissue paper. Let me show you. Do you see her? She's so cute. Hi, you can join me. Oh yeah, you can join me. Yeah, you're so cute. Stretch it out. Yeah. Stretch it out. Yeah. She loves her belly rub. <laughs> She's so cute. Aww. I know. Yeah. He's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna get bitey scratchy now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these boxes uh, broken down and then uh, kind of get the stickers and everything put away and back organized. And then I spent the last couple hours before I turned the camera on. I probably should have filmed some of it, but I didn't. I was still in my PJs. <laughs> I made a big bin of my soil mix, but I'm almost out of it. So I am gonna be ordering more of like bulk sizes of my soil mix. I need like everything. I do want to order like a two, I want to order a bigger bag for my soil mix because right now I can only fit one pound in. I would, I would like to sell at least a two pound bag. So I need a lot more quantities of my soil like substrates. And then I made uh, some more of my prop mix, some more tree fern, and I'm going to add on uh, bags of chunky perlite. I still use perlite, but not as much since I'm using like pumice in my mix now. But for anyone that wants like chunky perlite, I'd be more than happy to like sell. It'd probably, it's probably gonna be like three and a half, four cups, a bag of like chunky perlite for like five bucks. I feel like that's a decent deal. Cause I did pay a lot for that huge bag of chunky perlite. So I'm gonna put that on there, I think for this week and I'll show you that. And yeah, it should be a fun little vlog, but I'm going to uh, pop back on here in a little while and we'll continue on uh, getting that room. My goal is to get the room in there done tonight. All the little goodies are put away. So this is like the little table thing that I'm going to be taking photos on. I guess it's technically a computer desk. It wasn't that expensive. I think this was like $30. 
They had a couple different sizes. I don't expect it to be very like, you know, great quality or anything. It was just within budget. Oh gosh. And then this should be my backdrop thing that I'll put together. I have this to build, to build and a shelf to build. So <laughs> I got a lot of building. And I think I want to put together my Ikea cabinet soon too. The other one that I bought ages ago, I still haven't put it together yet. I might be tempted to do that tomorrow. So definitely a lot of building. Thank you. <laughs> Luna's got the styrofoam down here. What you got? What you got? Don't watch yourself, girlfriend. I don't want to get you. It's just basically a flat top with the legs. I feel like it's pretty simple, straightforward. That's all I wanted it for. It was super easy to put together. It's a cute little desk if you're like wanting something very tiny. Uh, you won't have a lot of room, but they did have a longer one. I think this one is 32 inches. So it's just a simple like white desk. Very simple. It has like a hook that you can do on either side. I put it on this side. I'm assuming for like computer cords or something to keep them tidy but I'm just using it for photo taking. I think that's the cutest little dust to uh, do the photos on. So let's open that up next here. Oh, I love the neutral tones. That's pretty. I don't know if you can tell. This one's like a marble. It's like a light kind of gray. It's like a quartz almost. It's like what we have on our kitchen. The table is a little small for it because it's sticking out quite a bit. But I'll break this down probably so that I'm not smacking into it. I feel like this is big enough for photos. I could either have the gray as like the backdrop or I can have the marble as the backdrop. We have our little sign that we're gonna do for the photos. We can do that one in the background or if I'm doing like 
a different angle, I could use that one. Let's test with the plant. Now I don't have the lighting or anything, so the lighting isn't gonna come out good, but I just wanna test it. I'm gonna use this as a fake ring light. I have other lights that I'm gonna use, but I'm just gonna use this for now. Uh, I'm gonna probably most likely take photos with my actual camera than the iPhone, but I haven't decided to see what's gonna come out the best quality because I want like decent photos. Oops. I'll put one of the images I just took on the screen so you can kind of see what it's roughly gonna look like. I think that's gonna look so good. With my camera, it'll be better quality. Once I get the actual like light set up, it'll be, it'll look better. Oh, it's so cute. This is how I was taking the photos. Uh, instead of breaking that down, it was just kind of annoying to put up every time. So I just had this cloth by the window, but even still the lighting was just crap and that's like in the way of the closet and everything and I just I just don't want this here. So this little kind of corner is empty right now. So that's where the desk is gonna go that I just put together. So I'm gonna do that here. And I have a cord there for, I have that ring light and then I have another set of lights uh, here that I got. They look like that, that can sit on the table. So I'll, I'll see how these look and the quality and then I'll have some good lighting for the photos. So that's where that's gonna go. And then if I move all these down that way, I should have enough room for the third shelf here. I thought about maybe rearranging that to the other wall, but I don't know. It's just a little bit of a tight fit in here. And I am gonna be moving that table out because I was using that to house some props because this entire shelf was so full. I did two sales and it's still full. Like I still have so many props to put in their individual cups. I just didn't have the room for them to be able to do that. So I'm gonna work on that slowly over the course of the, probably the next week and just start, like once I get my other shelf and my plant house tour filmed, I'm gonna start propagating like crazy. Hello, I am coming back on. It is the next day. And it's like probably like 2.30 in the afternoon and I did a lot of work in this room. So after I built that desk last night, which you guys saw all the last footage, I brought it in here and I was looking at the bed that was in here because this is kind of like the guest bedroom. I was like, you know what? This bed is driving me crazy. It's like right in the middle of the room and I just didn't like the configuration. So I went crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a look at this room. I ended up completely moving everything in here. I moved the bed to a corner. I built the third shelf actually this morning. I was gonna build it last night, but I got to rearranging and then it got kind of late. So I built that this morning. I don't have the lights, all of them connected. I needed some of the longer cables. I forgot to order some. So I went and placed an order and those will be here tomorrow. But I was hanging the ceiling lights and they came with longer cords that are compatible. I have the same one in my plant room, but these are the two feet one instead of the four feet. So I hung two of those on the ceiling and I now have two longer cords. So I have to put those on the shelf and connect all the lights. And then the other thing that I forgot to order, which I went ahead and ordered, is the cable management box for all the cords. Cause now that I have three more grow lights, well actually the ones on the ceiling are connected into each other. So that's one cord that I'll need. And then the third shelf. So I need two more plugs. And plus with the two shelves that are in here, that's a total of four plugs. So I ordered another one of those outlet timers that holds eight cords. I have two of them in my plant room. Four of them can be on a timer on that and that's what I need. So that should be here tomorrow and then I'm gonna reconfigure all the cords. But it looks good. The third shelf actually fit on this wall that's in front of me perfectly. 
I was uh, doing some measurements before I started moving things. I'm like, okay, let me measure the bed and see how far it's gonna come out and if I even like it. And then, uh, yeah, this big shelf here was actually in the closet that was in this room, but I used the closet for something else. And so I moved this big shelf out here so that I actually could store some like plant supplies on here. So yeah, let me give you a look at everything that I did. And then uh, right now it's very like gloomy and it's been thunderstorming and raining all day. It's not like the best day to take photos, but I'm gonna try and take some photos because today is Wednesday and I really need to get the photos taken of the plants that I'm gonna be listing for sale. I don't, I don't think I have a ton for this first drop or for this third drop. I really just need to take time to go through everything and then I need to start prepping a bunch of plants. So I'll probably work on that next week and maybe later this week. So let me give you a look at everything in here and then yeah, I'm gonna start taking the photos. I'll show you a little bit of that and that'll probably be it for today for the vlog. I'll be back on probably, I think I'm gonna do the sale Friday instead of Thursday. I feel like trying to do the sale tomorrow. I'd rather just go ahead and do it Friday. That way it'll give me tomorrow to kind of film and do some other stuff as well. And then I'll list the plants Friday and then it'll give me Saturday to work and then I'll start packing Sunday afternoon and all day Monday. So I really just need to focus on YouTube because I'm, it's already been three days and I haven't posted a video and I don't have any other footage filmed. So I'm like stressing about that because uh, this shop is taking like three, four days out of the week for me to to do and it's just sticking into a lot of my YouTube time and I feel like I'm a little stressed because I feel like I haven't had any time off to do anything else. Like I've, I've been working since like morning till late at night and getting the whole website finished took so many like long nights for me, just everything and now that I feel like I can manage both. I feel like I'm just a little stressed right now because of everything. And then I've been getting a lot of emails asking about when I'm gonna be having certain plants. And I feel like it's just a lot at once. <laughs> uh, Cause I feel like I'm just one person and I'm trying to manage and do the best I can right now, especially since I just opened and I just feel, I feel a little overwhelmed is all. And I think it'll be okay. I will be okay. I just feel like it's a lot all at once coming at me and I just need time to process and think and I haven't really had time to do that because I've been so busy with everything else. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me give you a little look and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get these photos taken. Ta-da, look at Luna sleeping. I just washed the bed sheets and put the bedding on. So she is tucked away. And then I have Chai down here at my feet, bugging me per usual. So the bed is kind of in this back corner. I don't know if you remember from when I showed you yesterday. So you can kind of see the indention on the bed right here. That's where the old spot, that's where it came out. And it was just kind of in the way because there wasn't much space in between these shelves and the bed where it came out. And then it was down further this way. So there wasn't much space between the closet and then hitting into the bed. So now that I have it in that corner, it opens up this entire space here and I love it so much better. I just feel like this whole setup is a million times better than what it was before. I have to hang some stuff back on the wall, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. <laughs> so we have the bed there and I have a little bit of a gap here. I don't like the bed like super close to the wall. That's pretty much all the space that I could leave because I wanted a, another little spot for the kind of nightstand and lamp and everything. And then you guys are familiar with those there. This is gonna be my picture taking area. So I decided to put it here. My original plan was to put it here. This shelf doesn't really fit this wall. It's a little big, but I think I'm getting used to it. I just didn't have a spot for it. And then that's the new shelf that I just built, the third one. So these are the two that were in here already and I have enough space where it's not like touching the door or anything. So I built that. I just have to use these two cords to connect the rest of the Barina lights and then I can turn that on. And then I will be feeding all the cords into that one there once I get my timer. And I also hung 
to lights up ahead. I decided just to get two small ones instead of one big one. So I can actually put plants now on the top row and I can utilize that space now. So yeah, I'm gonna be reorganizing this entire thing. I'm gonna be filling up the shelf rather quickly because I do wanna start separating a lot more of my seedlings out. And these little clear uh, trays right here, I think I'm going to invest in two more sets for that bottom shelf and that bottom shelf. Just because the cats come in here, I don't want them I don't want them to be able to get into anything on the bottom shelf at all. So having those clear containers will allow me to separate more of the plants out and keep them kind of contained. And I think what I'll do is just turn them the other way so that three can fit on a shelf. So I'm gonna get two more sets to do on there and there. I honestly wish this bed wasn't in here. That way I could use this entire room for the shop. But maybe one day, uh, if it's possible, I don't really feel like we would ever move from here. I feel like we're pretty content with this location and everything. But running like a small shop from home, there just isn't a lot of space for that. I mean, I don't want to like not have like a guest bedroom. Like we do really want to keep the bed in here. And in case we have like a family member or somebody that wants to stay, they have a place to sleep. So maybe like one day in our future, if it's at all possible for us, we would like to build like maybe an addition on like an upstairs cause the floor plan that we chose had that option, but it was like 50 grand more when we were going through the new home buying process and the design concept and everything, they had like an upstairs addition as an option. But because it was so much more expensive and the house already was expensive, we didn't want to, we didn't think we would need it because it was just us. And at that time I knew I wanted to start a shop. I just didn't think, I don't know. I just couldn't really see that far into the future on the logistics of all that, I guess. So we'll see if we do, I mean, that would be like years down the road if it's possible. Uh, we would use that upstairs area for like guests and stuff. And then I would take over this room for like my plant shop. So I would probably rip the carpet out, do the flooring. And yeah, this would be like wall to wall shelves of plants and props. So, but we'll see. I'm thinking like way ahead. I don't even know if that will be possible for us. So yeah, I'm going to get busy on the photos and I will pop in here a bit later and check in. Okay, this is what I have right now. I have them kind of carefully sitting on there so that they don't fall. I feel like that's enough light. I completely forgot that I have to label all the plants with my label maker, so I need my phone. All the props that I did, none of the cups um, are labeled yet, so I have to write the plant name and add a sticker so that I can correlate like the numbers to the plant. So I have to do that on all of them too, so <laughs> it's probably gonna take me a little bit to get through them all, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna work on this for a little bit, so. Hi, Chai. It is 3.15, I thought it was 2.30, but it's not. It is, I don't know where the day went. I got up at seven and I went to bed at like two because I was up trying to rearrange this room. Uh, where is the app so that I can parent? This is a Monstera Stanley on an elbow. So I'm selling two of those this week. So take the sticker. Well, that one's done. I have the sticker there with a court, just a random number so I know which one's which. And then I'm just looking at the plant itself. It is growing. I have two new leaves. This is just a propagation from my big plant. And then I'm looking for, I'm looking at the roots. I just want to make sure they're growing in some white fuzzy roots before I list them, which this one is. It's growing in some healthy roots because this came from water. So water roots are a little bit differently. So that's why I'm using this as like a 
medium to grow stronger roots. So whoever like purchases this and buys this, if they wanna take this off and plant it in soil, they can, put it in pond, they can. And the props in here usually aren't rooted for too long. Some get more rooted than others. So depending on the root system, if it hasn't been in here that long, the substrate should be pretty easy to come off of here. And that's why I'm mixing it with like perlite and the cocoa chips too, so it doesn't take, so there's like more aeration and it's not just the moss that's stuck to the roots. These little pots dry so quickly too, so I'm always checking to see if like the little props need water. So I'm gonna play around with this here, try and take some photos with my camera and see which one's the best, if I should just do my cell phone or the camera, we'll see. I need to, I need to get probably a better lighting situation, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I just need to practice. I feel like once I get a good system routine going, it'll be better, but I definitely need practice. So yeah, I will check in here a bit later. I am back. It is Sunday, kind of heading towards like late afternoon. It's like almost 4 p.m. I'm getting a little bit of a late start today, but that's okay. I was editing this morning and then I decided to go ahead and post the video and then I was responding and on the computer and now it's like, boom, before I know it, it's four o'clock. Hi, I have a couple babies in here. So I am getting ready to start packing some orders. Uh, it is Sunday, so I can only pack until like nine o'clock, 9.30. Depends on when my husband goes to bed because I don't want to pack. I can't pack when he goes to sleep because it's really loud. I have about 30 orders. It's, it's either 30 or 31 from the previous uh, drop, which was Friday, today's Sunday. So it hasn't been like that long ago since the drop. So I'm gonna package what I can tonight and then hopefully I can finish tomorrow and uh, get the rest of them out to the post office. If I have any left, I'll just do the rest on Tuesday. So I'm super excited. We're gonna get our water ready and anyone that is like appearing dry, I'm gonna go ahead and water and we'll start uh, packing them up. I like to do a final pest check one more time and clean their leaves and just inspect before we, yeah, before we start packaging them up. I have one big plant, which is Monstera Esqueleto. That one's pretty big, so uh, I should have a box for that one. And then the other ones that are kind of big are the Philodendron Glorious. I have three of those to pack up, but everything else is pretty like reasonable size, so they should fit in the boxes that I have. I think after this week, I will have to order more boxes. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my supplies and get everything set up on the table to start packing and I will meet you there shortly. Okay, we are gonna start packing. I have the first order here and I'm leaving my water and cleaning the leaves and everything in the bathroom so that I can, the light is brighter in there and I can inspect the plants better under that light. I just do a thorough chuck and wipe the leaves and then if the substrate is dry then i'll lightly water it in the bathroom and then i'm going to bring them out here package them uh, and everything out here i feel like it's just less clutter on the table that way so this oops i labeled this one twice this order is actually from my very first drop and the rest of the orders that i'm packing is from the third drop so just from a couple days ago and the reason why this person is getting their plant so late is because USPS lost the package. I put a search in uh, for them to, I did a search request for like lost mail and I haven't heard a single thing back from that and it hasn't shown up yet at all. So I don't know what happened. I've never had a lost package before and I feel so bad. So I reached out to her and asked her uh, what she wanted. I told her I had, so she ordered a Syndapsis Pictus Exotica and I had a huge leaf and I'm so sad about that. And I do have more, this is like a backup one that I've had propagating. So I asked her, I'm like, 
do you want me to resend you one or do you want me just to refund? And she said she still wanted to like purchase from me so she would take the replacement. So I have a replacement one that I'm going to send her. And because it's been like two weeks already, I'm gonna send her a freebie. Since she ordered a syndapsis, this is a rooted cutting already and it's finally growing. This is a jade satin syndapsis. So I'm gonna mail this as like a freebie gift in there for her just because I feel bad. So unfortunately, like I just have to eat that loss. I am gonna ship this out through UPS this time instead of USPS just to see if it could get, get it there to her quickly. I just don't know what happened and why USPS lost her order. I have like a huge bag of polyfill and I have like a huge roll of this like cardboard. This is what I use to like wrap the plants in. So I kind of just like to get an idea when I package how much room the plant's gonna take. So uh, I know like how, how much to cut. Cause I ordered this in a huge two foot and no, this is more than two feet, I think. It might be two feet. So I, I don't need like this tall to package plants. So I usually end up cutting it. Let's do the syndapsis here first. So since her order was already processed and everything, what I'm gonna do is send her an email once I print her shipping label. <clears throat> and I'll just email her that it's getting dropped off tomorrow and then I'll send her the updated tracking information. But I'm still kind of playing it by ear with USPS. If I start to have like more issues with packages, then I'll give UPS a go and see kind of which one is gonna work the best with shipping for me. Okay, so that is secure. Let's go ahead and package this one. I have gotten a lot quicker. So, Usually what I do, so my drops have been on Fridays. Usually what I do is Friday evening, I'll go ahead and print all the order slips and mark anything while things are still fresh in my head because this last drop I've had several email me. So I've had to make some changes and I like wanna get that written down while it's fresh in my mind. So I print the order slips and then I pre-made a bunch of my free little baggies that go into each box. So I pre-made a bunch of those so it's I don't have to worry about that during shipping days. And then I have like the card and everything ready to go so it should move, move a lot more smoothly. Yeah, I can get through packing pretty, I wouldn't say quickly because I still wanna take my time but I'm better now than like the very first week I should say. And then I usually take a marker, even though you can see the pot here and that it's the bottom, I'm still getting into, into the habit. I just like to write top up here and sometimes I'll write like new leaf emerging just so that they're aware. Sometimes the plant that I ship has a stake and it kind of pokes out. So I'll write stake with an arrow just so that they're 
kind of aware. And then usually I like to add a sticker on the front. So I have like these iridescent labels and then I have a thermal printer that can print anything that I want on them, uh, which is nice. So I have different colors. So I have this like iridescent one and then I have some of the green ones. So I just kind of, this one says just thank you. And then I stick that on the front like that. It's so cute. Has like a little Monstera sticker. Like that. And so now we have to find a box that will fit these. I have like four or five different sizes. trying to give you a little bit of a different angle this time. So our second order is going to be uh, just Jesse and a pothos, pothos, this one here, it's beautiful. This is uh, from my mother plant. I love the color on this one. So I like to double check um, the number. I put a little sticker, because if I have multiples, I like to make sure that it's the correct one that they ordered, but I don't go just off the number. Like obviously I'm making sure it's the right plant. <laughs> and then I just double check uh, that they didn't have anything else. I double check the quantity and then I'm checking uh, how they shipped it, whether it's priority or express. I feel like, I feel like most people are doing priority mail. And then I just see where it's going to, the location, cause it's still chilly in some areas. So if they, didn't add winter protection. I just like to double check for like certain states that I feel like might still be cold this time of year. Um, and then like, as we start to warm up too, I'm also gonna be checking to make sure temperatures aren't like staying above 90 cause then that's kind of stressful to ship plants in like too hot of temps if there's like a heat wave, but we should be good at least for this time of year right now. It's so cute. So cute. I love that little thank you sticker. It's so cute. I, it's so cool that I can literally print anything that I want with these little thermal printers. All right, that is all that they ordered. So I'm gonna find a little box and we'll package it up.
Good morning. It is Monday morning. I have a few packages here on the floor down there and I have to start packing the rest of the orders. It is currently, it is, oh gosh, uh, 7.34 in the morning. I had my alarm set. Well, my husband got up at 6.15 and then like I need to snooze a little bit. So I set like a 30 minute alarm. So I got up and then I made myself jump in the shower. Uh, I need to wash my hair, but I, I'm going to wash it later because normally I would just like get up and start packing like immediately in my PJs. And I'm just like, Melissa, no, you need to shower and get dressed. <laughs> I don't really have like any makeup on or anything, but at least I got showered and changed my clothes. Uh, I have 21 orders left. Uh, one of them I'm holding. So I have 20 orders to pack today. Technically, I don't have to get them all packed. Like I don't have to uh, drive myself crazy and feel like I have to get them all done. I can drop some off tomorrow, but my goal is to get them all done today because I really want this week to do a spring reset and a house plant tour because I'm not doing a drop this week. I'm going to wait so I can get that done. So I would really like for these orders to get done today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Cause yeah, 20, 20 orders is a lot to pack. I actually scheduled a U USPS pickup today. I was thinking last night, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to schedule it. I have to schedule it the day before. And I just estimated on the number of packages and the weight. I had to pay a $26 and 50 cent fee for them to come at a specific time which kind of sucks because I don't want to pay that all the time. If I have them pick up at their like scheduled delivery time, then it's free. But then I don't know when that is. I don't know when my mail person comes. And like, what if I'm not done packing? I'm still going to have to go to the U USPS store, USPS store anyway. So I just tried, I'm just going to try it out and see how it goes today. I scheduled it at 345. So it's 730. So I have several several hours to pack and hopefully get them all done and whatever like i said whatever i don't finish i can just drop off tomorrow i do have to run out anyway to the ups store i have to return that plant from rare plant fairy that they sent me that was wrong uh, that's going to be like the very last thing that i do i was going to wait and do it tomorrow but if i can get everything done today i'll go ahead and uh package it up and drop it off because i do have another package that i'm taking to ups it's that one that got lost in the mail and I don't want to send it back through USPS again to them just in case. So yeah, I'm just uh, currently in my email. I just opened my email really quick to see if I have any like missed new messages or anything. I'm trying to get in the habit. I always check my email several times a day, but this is like my support email specifically for any orders. It's weird like uh, having this now because I felt like I... I told myself when I was waking up, I'm like, I actually have to get up and pack orders. I can't just fluff around and like film and edit. Like I actually have to, to do this. I kind of felt like kind of how I did when I had like an actual like hospital job that I actually have to go into work. So it is interesting uh, in a sense. I feel like as much as I love filming and doing YouTube, I just feel like I just need more. I just was, I feel like I was missing something. So uh, this is definitely keeping me very, very busy with the shop. So, uh, yeah, it's only like my third weekend, so I'm excited to see how it goes. And I know not every week I'm going to have like a ton of orders and, uh, and everything. So I think, uh, I think once things kind of settle down a bit and I can kind of get back on a routine and everything, it'll be good, but I don't mind staying busy with orders and everything. Good morning, Chai. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to get back to this person that emailed me and then, yeah, I'm going to get busy packing. I'll probably pop back on here on occasion. I might just set my camera up to record a little bit. Um, but yeah, I will check in later and let you know how it's going.
All the packages are right there. <laughs> I just wheeled them out. The uh, I did a scheduled pickup for 3.45 and it's 3.50. So right now they're five minutes late. So I'm getting a little anxious that they're not coming. Uh, post office closes at five. So I guess I'm gonna give them until 4.15, which is like 30 minute grace period. And I don't know what to do. I paid almost $30 for them to come pick up. So I guess cause it's my first time doing this. I don't know how it works or like, is it, is, do they normally run late? Maybe they're doing a delivery nearby and are swinging back, but like, I guess I'm like more of a deadline person. I don't like being late to things. <laughs> I know things happen, but still it's like, I don't know. I'm just stressed because <laughs> I know it's like getting to be rush hour too. There's a lot of traffic at this time. So I'm like worried because I need to go to the UPS store too and drop off. So if I have to go there and the post office, uh, yeah, I'm hoping they show up soon. It's not like overly hot today because I don't want to leave the packages in the garage for too long, but like 10, 15 minutes should be fine. Today was the eclipse. I tried to go outside and see anything, but it's just, it's so bright and sunny today. I tried to look up at the sun with my sunglasses, but it was so bright. You could kind of see where it was like partially occluded. You could kind of see a little bit of a crescent there and it kind of got a little shaded, but nothing crazy here uh, that we got here in Savannah at least. And I still haven't set the timer or anything up yet in there. I was supposed to do that the other, or last night, but I was just too tired. So I might work on that later. But yeah, just waiting on the pickup. <laughs> uh, I hope they come. Hello, I uh, just wanted to pop on to kind of end the vlog. I didn't really get to do that yesterday. I actually am about to drop, I have a few packages here on the floor. I'm gonna drop those off at UPS and I have the rare plant fairies package. Uh, I package that up. So I'm going to drop that off there and then two orders. And, uh, I'm going to come back and kind of work on, I would love to get the patio uh, and stuff sprayed down. Today's Tuesday afternoon. So, um, I need to pop in the grocery store too. So I don't know. It's going to get kind of late. I was supposed to start working on like the spring rearrange today, but honestly, I woke up, I was so tired. I was kind of dragging today because I've been so like busy and I haven't caught up on my sleep. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this whole uh, packing process. Like I said, I'll probably do these a few times a month just to kind of give you like any updates and just kind of share my like small shop journey and everything but thank you so much to everyone who watches these videos and supports and who buys for me i appreciate all of you so much i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you again here soon mm -hmm.